Welcome back to Forza Motorsport. Today, we're continuing our Forza Motorsport Let's Play. In the last episode, we built this incredible Toyota Supra. We leveled it all the way up to level 50, tossed this wide body kit on it, and it was so, so good to drive. However, one thing I did in the last episode is reveal one of my big brain ideas to unlock a very special car as quickly as possible. The brand new Audi R8. We're still very far away from unlocking that Audi R8. But today, we are gonna get a little bit closer by joining this super sedan. We have five events to take part in today. Let's begin and see what our options are. Hello, Nick from the future here. I just wanted to let you know that past Nick is in fact a moron because I decided to record this entire first race with my microphone muted. So we're gonna have some fun with it instead. I'm gonna do a voiceover and this is going to be the most jank thing you've ever seen. Scene. The car we're using is this, the Mercedes C63 Coupe Forza Edition. It's got a cool wide body kit. Throughout today's entire video, I'm using this, the Thrustmaster E-Swap controller. As always, you can check it out in the description down below. Ooh, so it's a bit of a night race. This is definitely my first time seeing this. Three, two, one, and away we go. <laughs> This is the most jank thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> Here's the rundown of everything you need to know, though. AI, in fact, a bit of a moron as well, because they just drive a little slowly, especially this BMW who decided to cut in front of me. And then it was two laps into the video. You see how I look to the side there? Yeah, that's me looking at my other monitor. And I noticed that my audio levels weren't moving. Oh. All right, back to regularly scheduled uh, spoon driving. As I was saying, come on, Mercedes. I've only got two laps left to actually catch up to this BMW. Can I just say, though, listen to the absurd noises that are coming out of this C63. Every time I lift off the gas, the blow-off valve noise is ridiculous. Here we go. There's going to be lots of blow-off valve noises here. <laughs> well, I love it. Okay, catch up to this BMW, though. Let's see if we can go for a switch back here. Lay it on the brake. Get the nose in. Wow, the AI doesn't care. Wow, the AI doesn't care. They're fully like, yeah, I'm just gonna crash into you. Okay, let's go. What the hell was that, bro? Not even remotely cool, sir. I know this is supposed to be the rivalry, BMW versus Mercedes versus Audi, but I didn't think we were resorting to violence for it. Anyways, we do in fact level up to level five, so that should unlock some new upgrades for our car. Honestly, it's still such a frustrating upgrade system. Like, I know exactly what upgrades I would like to get for my Mercedes, but the fact that I can't get them is so annoying. Now that the game is officially out, I want to know what you guys think of the upgrade system now that you've hopefully got a chance to try it. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Are there elements that you like of it? I don't know. Let me know though. I'm still definitely gonna say I actually like the idea of a car leveling system because it kind of shows you what cars you drive the most, but I don't think car upgrades should be tied to your car level because it just straight up doesn't make any sense. Anyway, nice race in the Mercedes. Second place. For this tour that we're in, we can upgrade all the way to the top of S1. So why why don't I do some of that? I've got 900 car points. I guess I'm just gonna go for horsepower then. We'll go for a race exhaust and a race air filter and oil and cooling and I think that's everything that I can get. Off to Indianapolis. Let's see what our Mercedes is like in practice around Indianapolis. So this is actually like the other version of it. We're going the wrong way around the circuit, but it's got the whole infield bit. We have to complete three laps and do a lap fast faster than a minute and 34 seconds. That's gonna be tough in this. Is that gonna be good enough on our first lap? I don't think it is. It's not, that's a 135. We've gotta go even faster if we're gonna complete this challenge and look how many AI are out here now. Okay, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna corner cut. Bro, the game literally said you cut the corner. Let's hit him with mass. <laughs> the Mercedes is in the wall. I never realized the AI in this game was so dangerous. Not to race with, just to be near them. Third and final lap, I went corner cutting central. And apparently if you go corner cutting central, you can still complete the challenge. Off to the race. Let's start this in last place. I think I can still get on the podium. Let's see. Take a look at all the reflections. 
reflections on the back of the C63. That looks insane. Anyways, let's go. I am starting in dead last. I've got my own line all to myself. I think this might need to be quite an aggressive corner cut. I'm gonna try to sneak past as many of them as possible. A little bit of cor- Sir, why? If you swing across the racetrack like a maniac with no care of who else is around you, that's on you. Anyways, we're already up to 14th place. We're looking good. AI has decided to make a parking lot. I really thought this was supposed to be six out of eight difficulty, which didn't mean smash the brake at the apex. Okay, here we go. Send it up the inside. Oh my God. Oh my God. AI breaks very early. Okay, we're up to eighth place. Lol, JK, make that sick. This is not the cleanest race I've ever had. If you actually decide to start a race in last place, you need to go mad aggressive if you want any chance of finishing on the podium. Okay, that Mercedes is off. Into the dirt he goes. He's gonna run wide here. Let's sneak up the inside. Oh, this is ridiculous. Okay, reel this guy in. Reel this guy in. I know he doesn't have the wide body, but I should be quicker than him in the corners. Get laid on the brakes. Up the inside. That was probably a little bit too late. Not bad, C63. We've made it up to fourth place already. Here we go. Up the inside. Just a casual bit of bullying. I'm just getting ready to play online. That's all. Oh, we are gaining. Yo, it's actually a Mercedes in front of us. Wait, is it one, two, three Mercedes? It is. It's Mercedes one, two, three. Oh, the Audi fans and the BMW fans are going to be annoyed at this result. Reel them in. We might get second with a bit of slipstream and late on the brakes up the inside on the other C63. What a send. Maybe I could actually get the guy in first with a lovely little bit of inside line up here. All right, that didn't work. That didn't work. That didn't work. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. <laughs> From last place all the way to first. What a beautiful result. Did we have to do a little bit of bullying? Yes. Was it the cleanest race? Absolutely not. Apparently, we were also much higher PI-wise than everybody else we were racing, but let's just ignore that. Also, we are officially level 69. Things you love to see. <laughs> Welcome to the United of Kingdom and Silver. Stone. I absolutely love this place. The new version of Silverstone in Forza Motorsport looks incredible. No way for our race out at Silverstone. We've got a rolling start. It is a rainy day out in the United Kingdom. Nobody could have seen this one coming. Anyway, send it past the AI again as quickly as possible. We've only got a four lap race ahead of us here. So as many AI as we can sneak past early, the better. What the hell are they doing? Okay, round the outside. Sir, you can't just push people off the road. Hey, I'm still not even driving on the circuit. I think I'm going to get a big penalty for that. <laughs> no penalty. No way. <laughs> I just got away with murder. Anyways, we've already made it up to ninth place. If this BMW could stop brake checking me in the corner, that'd be great. Gonna give him a taste of his own medicine. Thank you. Go. Why are we braking on a straight? Let's clear this BMW. Lap one is already done. Thank you. What a lovely move around the outside there. Wait, is it seriously Merc, Merc, Merc again? The Audi and the BMW fans are going to be furious. <laughs> Anyways, lovely overtake past second place. This is gonna come down to the wire for first. Like, I've got the slipstream, but I don't think with only like two and a half corners left. I don't know if I can get the other wide body. I'm trying to gain. This is gonna need to be deadly. Up the inside. We got him. We cannot put the horsepower down in the corners. It is actually insane. But we got him. B1. What a race. Whew, I was not expecting that result. I gained 23 positions. <laughs> Off to the next race. We go up to level 70 now. Before I go into the next race, why don't we get a paint job? Since the game hasn't actually come out when I'm recording this, there aren't too many options, but I kind of like this one. No way. Welcome to Hakone for our first race out at this awesome Japanese circuit. The only time I've ever driven this track 
is when I drove it in the preview version of the game. Driving that Cadillac V-Series.R. What a beautiful circuit. I'm literally not driving and looking at the road. I'm, I'm just looking everywhere else. Let's just jump straight into the race. Last to first in our C63 around Hakone. Rev the car up and away we go. We have a five lap race ahead of us. I'm gonna need to learn this circuit super quickly because straight up, I do not know where I'm going. The nice thing about driving around like Silverstone or Indianapolis and things like that is those are circuits I've driven around many times before in other racing games. This one is all brand new and I have no idea where I'm going. That was actually like the cleat Never mind, just ignore what I was saying. Anyways, just watch out for the AI trying to brake check me. I've got to get past him quickly. Move. Thank you. It needs to be a violent getaway, honestly. Look at this, though. Look how wide the road is. There's so much room for activity. <laughs> C63, I'm pretty sure. Is this the final corner? No, it's not the final corner. Oh, man, this C63 feels so good around here, though. I'm not going to lie. I still wish it was more of like a Fujimi Kaido sort of thing down the side of a mountain as opposed to a Yas Marina butt in Japan sort of circuit. But regardless, it is very, very cool. Just the fact that we've got Fuji Mountain in the background there is just so cool. If I could get a little bit of slipstream right now, that would be lovely. But this is the part of the circuit though where the C63 feels incredible. It literally just sticks to apex to apex like beautifully. Maximum steering and just send it through as as hard as possible. Trying to reel him in. There we go. There we go. Gaining. Gaining with slipstream. Yeah, I don't think we're getting first place, but I think we definitely can fight our way to a podium. Get the nose in. Make the other Mercedes like hesitate for a second and we got him. Yep. Through the final corner, there is nothing that I can do about it. P3, not a bad result. Let's make sure we haven't dropped in our series standing. We're still all good, but it is a little bit closer than I would like. No way. This is going to be a good one. It would be so cool to have a rolling start at Spa. What? This race has got to be like only three laps, right? Look how wide our C63 is. It doesn't even fit in the box. Anyway, standing start for our final race in the series. Four laps around Spa. Oh, man. We obviously know what we're doing at Spa. Send it up the inside. Use the AI as my brake pedal. Like I said, I'm just getting ready for online. Send it in the Mercedes. Up the hill we go. Oh my god. Why is all the AI breaking? Like, wh wh why would you do that? Gain, beautiful gain, beautiful gain. <laughs> okay, send it up the inside there. The AI is deciding to use all the road and break in the middle of a corner. And, oh, I think I actually said it right in the last episode. I genuinely do not think I can drive on six out of eight difficulty because the AI is just too slow on this difficulty and they genuinely just become a hazard rather than like a racing opponent. Yellow car on yellow car. It's a drag race back to the start finish straight. And our C63 out drags a BMW. And we sit in the slipstream and the AI is just going to block the road and not even move. We got it. Oh, look at first place though. First place is going to be a struggle. Oh my God. And I'm picking up more penalties. Come on, C63. Gaining another yellow versus yellow battle. We're going to get this guy up the inside. Get the nose in. Wow, the AI didn't pull out of the move. Look at it. It's like bump drafting, but in a corner. Well, now, it, now it's side bump drafting. Most people call that a crash. I call that new optimization. What? That's 100% a penalty. Got him. See you later. It's at this moment, I would usually say, take a look at the mini map to find the guy in first place. Yeah, you barely can. He's that far in front. Unless for some reason his wheel falls off, I don't think we're going to get first. Just cut the corner. Might as well. What are they going to do? Disqualify me? Holy shit, two second time penalty. How much of a penalty do you think I would get for fully cutting Oru? If I just cut the corner up here, cut, 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 cut. Everyone's done that racing line in F1 before. Only one second. I think I just saved time. I think I might need to do some unethical racing tips. Bro, there's no way you can give me a penalty for running wide like that. That's actually ridiculous that they give me a one second penalty for running wide. This is being manipulated, man. All right. You know what, little stewards? You want to see a penalty? I'm going to show you a penalty.
I didn't mean to do it like that. I didn't mean to do it like that. I didn't mean to do it like that. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Shit, 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 shit. Total time penalty is about 10 and a half seconds. I didn't get a penalty for the corner cut. Good news. I don't think I'm going to be able to make up a 10 second gap so the penalty doesn't matter. I think I made my motivation clear. No more penalty. No. You know what's funny is somehow on this final lap of the race, I'm actually driving unbelievably clean and I'm actually running away from the guy behind. Let's just say the majority of those penalties were actually deserved. If I lost the championship for that, I'm going to be so angry. Oh my God. By one point. Oh, oh, that was... <laughs> Level 71, 16,000 credits. The Legacy Tour has been unlocked. So now that we've done Super Sedans and completed that series, in the next episode, we can do premium performance, try out some proper modern sports cars, and then we can get our Ford GT. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.